The Geekcom A7 was a great little mini PC, but as soon as you started pushing it for games, it started to thermal throttle. In today's video, we will fix this little beast. Hey there. Welcome to Team Pandori. Subscribble. First, we need to understand the problem before we have any idea on how to solve it. Why is it that Katamari runs fine, while Rocket League, after one minute, slows down to a crawl? Well, the answer is overheating. When a component of the PC overheats, it slows down in order to cool. In our review video, we looked at CPU temps, but not the memory. And this is where our problem lies. PLAY GAMES BETTER! While shouting at the computer won't drop temps, changing TDP or fan mode to normal or quiet will. This basically lets the computer know how much power is used, but raising this generates heat, so steer clear from the 54 watt performance mode. For many games, the quiet option is usually enough, but today we'll be using normal. Slowdown does still appear, but checking our stats gives us an indication that GPU utility is at 98%. As the GPU is directly linked to the memory, all we need to do is lower this and everything should run fine. This would usually involve changing graphic options or resolution. But if we did this without any limits, our GPU util would be near 100 and our memory will throttle. So what we'll do is adjust graphic settings so we have FPS over 60, as this is the minimum value I'd like to play my games at. To get the Radeon overlay at the top right, you need to press Ctrl, Shift and O. And you can see how changing these settings adjusts the FPS. In high quality mode, we get well over 100 frames per second, which is great. But if we look down here, GPU utility is at 95%, and to lower the value, we give it a limit. As this monitor is set to 60Hz, checking the vertical sync option will limit the FPS to 60. Traditionally, this increases latency, but our GPU usage is down to 70%, and you may have less screen tearing. Alternatively, you could use a frames per second speed cap like this one here, and as long as the option is lower than the uncapped speeds, we'll be able to completely avoid the thermal throttling that happens in-game. And in HW info, our memory sits in the cool 60s, leaving us with nice gamey time. Easy does it. I am going to get a cup of tea with Beverly. The Rear 10 Alloy 9 had great cooling, and it also had a novel heatsink attached to the lower memory module. It's a pretty interesting idea, as this would essentially pull out trapped heat that would usually build up between both memory chips. So let's unscrew this and get it in the Geekom. Careful. Looking inside, we can see the storage has a thermal pad, but the heat from the memory is pretty much trapped in here. But if we change out the memory to the one with the novel heatsink, and like this, we can get through a full game of Rocket League without any of the slowdown. But the problem is, these heatsinks are pretty rare, but they work great. So let's see if we can replicate it. We'll first heat it up so we can remove the label. Put the sticker on the back. Yeah. So what I'll do is use one of these copper heat sinks. But rather than just stick it on, because that won't work, we're gonna replicate this thing. It already comes with uh, thermal tape on the back. And as we stick this on, we need to make sure that metal does not touch the memory. If it does, reapply. We've got a set of mini heat sinks. These are 12 by 12 by six. We're gonna put them at the end of this copper. Yeah, that looks ace. Look at that. So let's insert the memory. Oh yeah. Just hope that they're not too tall. And yes, the heat sinks are a little too tall, but we'll try it anyway. Just gonna be sure not to over tighten. And the result is much better than stock, but we're still getting thermal throttling after around four minutes of play. For the next attempt, we'll try and use some thermal tape to shield the upper memory from the lower. We don't know if this will have any effect, but we're just doing this for science. 
and the results slightly worse than earlier. The thermal throttling after three and a half minutes. For attempt number three, we tried rearranging it, so we have five heat sinks at the end rather than four. And the results? Thermal throttling at around two minutes of gameplay. Attempt number four was a redesign. We used three strips of thermal tape and the copper heatsink is a little bit further out. Then we attached an NVMe heatsink to it using thermal tape. The concept is the same, but this time, as the heatsink is a little thinner, perhaps the gap at the top of the case would allow heat to dissipate better. Either way, it's worth a go. And wow, this looks pretty nice. Come on. So this time, thermal throttles around four minutes into play. HW Info tells us that the heatsink is doing something, but not enough, as the memory reaches 80 degrees, which triggers the slowdown. For attempt number five, we're gonna add some thermal padding to both the top of the heatsink and the upper memory chip. The idea came from the Pandora Saga X2, as it had a slab of metal that pulled the heat away. And as there's metal covering the bottom of this case, we might be able to use that. So we simply cut this to size, remove the plastic coating, and then place it down like an omelette. And now for the metal cover. We should push slightly down on all of the thermal pads. Okay, this is looking promising. Four minutes into gameplay and still in the thermal throttle. We even played a few more games and it was still buttery smooth. I haven't tried one online. <laughs> no problems. And we've won. Yeah! Hurry! So after around four games, the temperatures got pretty close to 80, but never actually reached that. While it is far better than stock, the best solution may be a combination of the two. This way, the GPU and memory doesn't need to work as hard, and it also has the advantage of sufficient cooling. And doing this, it leaves our memory at a maximum of 59 degrees Celsius. Nice. While this video covers the Geekom A7, the same solution should also work with the A8. If you're interested in seeing more mini PC hardware upgrades, please check out our other video. If you want to support our work, we have a Patreon, and those like and subscribe buttons go a long way. Fix! This has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the next one. ta -ra. Eventually he will give you a nice warm cup of Tetley's.